Hello, my amazing artists. This week, we are inspired by a new artist. Her name is Louise Malou Jones, and she creates some really bright and colorful artworks. She uses shape, pattern, and line. I'm going to show you some of her artworks right here. I love all the patterns that she uses and the colors. Our project this week will be inspired by one of her pieces. This will be a two week project. We will not finish it all this week. We are going to save the coloring for next week. So today we will only get as far as our black line drawing. Here is our piece that we are making that is inspired by her pieces. So as you can see, we still have the lots of colors and the patterns and we have the profile of a person. Do you know what a profile is? You might hear that word about like uh, your mom or dad's or brother's or cousin's Facebook profile picture, but a profile is when you see a face this way on the side. That's a profile. So we are doing a profile, person, face, and then patterns and lots of colors. So let's get started on the line drawing. Here we have our paper and it is vertical up and down. We're drawing a line straight across on the top and another one straight across near the bottom. If you need to, you can pause this to catch up. And then inside of those two lines, we're going to do two lines going down. We are going to do the face and it's this like S shape. Then we're going to curve it in for the nose out again for the top lip, in, and then rounded for the bottom lip. And now we have the chin, which also curves in, and the neck that's straight down. So you could pause it right here to help you draw that line. The eye is a diagonal line with, it almost looks like a boat, with a U-shape inside for the people. So now it's time to design our our frame. Those four lines that we drew in the beginning are kind of like our picture frame. So you can add patterns. Patterns are shapes or lines that repeat themselves. You could do what I'm doing or if you'd like you could do new lines and new patterns. These patterns are um, shapes but also zigzags. That's a pattern. You have all those triangles that go again and again and again and that's what makes a pattern a pattern. It is up to you on what you want. I did add this little branch and it is a pattern because the leaves happen again and again. It has repetition. That is something that we have talked about already this year. So go in at your own speed with your patterns and what you want to do. Remember, it does not have to be exactly what I have. You could do what I have if you like it, but remember you are an artist and you have great ideas too. We are happy with our pencil drawing, it is time to go over it with our Sharpie or black marker or black crayon. And you know the drill, that's why this is super sped up. So please take your time and carefully draw on your pencil line. So you are all done with the Sharpie. Here's a trick is to erase your entire paper that erase all your pencil lines. It makes it look really nice and neat. Way to go. Good job. I can't wait to see the line drawing the start of your project. Remember, don't color it in yet. We're saving it for next week. Take a picture of it and send it to me in Google Classroom or Seesaw, depending on which one I want you to use. I hope you had fun. Bye.